Hey you guys, how are y'all doing? Let me put some lipstick on. Let's put this pink on since it's springtime. Excuse my hair, I put, um, I just moisturized it and yeah. Okay, girl, you looking a little bit chalky. What the hell is going on? Um, how does that look? Y'all, my skin looks effing good, girl. Hold on, that's better, that's better. Y'all, let me kinda get my back, my background together. Let's get my dolls up here. Y'all can't even see them. Y'all, yes you can, you can see. What the hell is going on? Y'all, those of oh. you who don't follow me on Instagram, let me show y'all my stickers I got. They are so cute. I got them from Oso oh Paper. Isn't this me? This is me. Yeah, this is me, girl. She's reading. And then this is me going shopping with my big legs. Oh, yes. Pickaboo leg right there. Pickaboo. This is me, um, uh, Black Panther realness. Yeah, this is me in my element with my glass of red wine. Doing my hair. Yes, y'all. This is so cute. And look at this one. Um, absolutely adorable. Oh, so paper is to cite all of this, including a notebook. I can't find the notebook. Hold on. I'm too lazy to find the notebook. All of this cost me less than $30. So yes, girl, we have been shopping. I have been sharing all the sales, all the sales I've been finding on my community page because if I'm going to be broke, you're going to be broke. I mean, <laughs> I shouldn't say that. And this morning, I just bought some more dresses from ASOS. Y'all, my fluffy ass. Let me tell you something. Let me put this back. I think I'm going to have a little spring haul fashion show for y'all. I'm going to do my hair bad. I'm going to do, um... I'm gonna break this up into like three different videos. So I'm gonna re be reviewing a product and I'll show y'all some stuff in a minute. I'm gonna be reviewing something and then I'm gonna be doing like a spring curl look. This is gonna be like in early May cause I, I need to lose some weight. We'll get, that, get into that too. <clears throat> um, and then I have at least six new dresses. And no, I mean like within the last six months or so. And some of them I've only worn one once. Some of them I've never worn before. Two of them are still coming in. But they're spring, summer, very cute. I like feminine dresses. I have a lot of dresses, you guys. At one point there, all I wore were dresses. Especially since I'm curvy. Um, dresses are more comfortable. I, I like to look feminine when I was at going into the office. I was that chick. Yes, the girl with the big hair and the tight wiggle dress. I'm not afraid to say it. So, if you don't know by now, we're not doing my hair. I'm going to be eating watermelon. We'll get into this. <laughs> girl, black people. Oh, uh, that is so blackity black. Lord have mercy, y'all. But this is good for you. Really get this. Because it's mostly water. So, it really is it's good for you. So, anyway, um... So many things are going through my head right now, y'all. So, uh, y'all know how we do this. We talk about what's in these YouTube streets. We talk about a little bit of personal life. And we talk about what I'm watching. Girl, we really going to be talking about what, I, what I've been watching. So, before we get into that, I'm going to talk about a little bit about what's going on in my personal life. When I tell you today, I had a breakdown. I was breaking down almost. I can feel when I'm about to have a release. Um... I'm not the type of person that keeps anything in for, per se, like my emotions in, but I'm a type of person where I'm like, man up. Like, don't don't cry, girl. You know, you a gangster. Let's just go. So I do that. Like, if I have a moment where I'm about to cry, I like suck it up because I'm like, I ain't got time to be crying. So I'm like that. And I would do that week after week after week after week. Um, I'm just that type of person, y'all. I don't pity party. I don't try to feel sorry for myself. I just believe in pushing forward. But today... My company was hit last week by a ransomware. Ransomware is basically uh, when a hacker or hackers, in this case, um, steal your data and they hold it ransom until you pay. And if you don't pay, they will, re they will release that data. We have been off the system since Thursday. So that's causing some anxiety because I can't access, none of us can access our email. I can still access 
the intranet, which is an internal company site. But with all that going on, work is in the work is there, but we're having to do it's just crazy. I'm having to, I still got this one gel nail on this raggedy hoe. Look, I, <laughs> I called my sister because she did my nails for me back in February. I said, Look, I cannot get these holes off. She said, Oh, girl, gel nails don't come off. <laughs> we'll get her off anyway. So my breakdown today, JB woke up coughing. I'm like, oh shit. So we all been having allergies. Girl, how are your allergies doing? Allergy season is off the char chart. Look, my husband, he takes an allergy shot every year. And even he's like, my allergies are messed up, right? So I've been doing saline rinses, saline rinses, saline rinses for about four or five days. I got back on my singular. Singular, in my opinion, is, is dangerous. Very dangerous, especially for younger people. <clears throat> Uh, even for adults so but I got back on it because I'm like I have no other choice it takes a couple of days for it to actually start to work so now I feel good I've had some days there where I was like whatever and singular excuse me um your allergies I mean and I'm sure those of you who have who suffer with allergies your allergies can get so bad to where you feel like you have a damn cold right you feel sick you feel horrible so we've been we've been in it and I've been feeling better you know doing what I'm supposed to be doing so JB wakes up he was sneezing all week, all week. And I'm like, oh, hell, yeah. I got him his own Flonase. I removed him off of Singular because it was causing some bad side effects. So long story short, he woke up coughing. Then he said his throat is sore. Then he had a little fever, not a lot, like 98.8. When I saw that, I broke down crying. Not in front of him because I don't believe in boo, you know, every now and then, okay, but y'all, yeah, because I'm like, I can't, I can't deal with this right now. So my husband's like, calm down. It's just, you know, it's just a low fever. It's just his allergies. I said, I know it, it's his allergies, but I'm done. I'm tired. So I have no other choice but to get him back on this singular, at least for another two or three weeks. And then I'll take him off again um, because I tried everything. I put him on the Benadryl. I gave him Benadryl earlier and I gave him, I put him on his breathing machine, the nebulizer. And he said he feels better but his voice is so raspy you guys you notice jb has a natural raspiness to his voice that's due to, to that's due to allergies that's not his normal voice his normal speaking voice yeah, I, I really haven't been watching a lot of youtubers i catch um lovely you hear him coughing my baby i catch lovely ti every now and then um who did i I did see a couple of people's reviews as it relates to um, the Clark Sisters movie. And Leia Gerdon, the young lady from <clears throat> Atlanta, she, she when she did her review, she kind of insinuated that Twinkie was autistic. I'm like, she's not on this, she's not on this. She's not autistic. I don't get that. I guess the way that her mother treated her. Let me tell you something. Dr. Maddie Clark was a manipulator, a master manipulator, okay? I would have loved to learn a little bit about her background and see how she became this boss choir director that we know. So, I don't think Twinkie was autistic. That, that is not what I was getting. I mean, yeah, no, that's, I don't know where she, that was really, that was a reach in my opinion. I'm not watching YouTube, plus when I get on YouTube, I see all those ads and I be wanting to buy stuff. So y'all, real quick, before we get into what I've been watching, because I have been watching a lot of TV, <clears throat> shows and stuff. So, I've been doing some shopping that we, we already discussed this, but I am going back to the products I used to use. I really am. So, um, a lot of the product reviews you'll see me doing or not new to me but it will be new to my channel as far as a review go so one of them child when this came in the mail i was like what in the hell when i tell you this is the business i used to use this all the time year three year four me and you so uh this is the dabur vatika this indian deep conditioner purple top with almond, with olive oil, almond oil, and henna. This made my hair so shiny. Girl, look how big it is. Now, the one I got was never this big. Um, it doesn't even have, I 
don't know how big this is. I, I have no idea. It doesn't have it. Everything is, is in um, uh, Indian language dialect. So, yeah, I used to use this all the time. Now, I bought this online. I think it's Shop Hair. I'll be putting the link in the official video. Amazon does not have it anymore. So, yeah, that's coming. I will be doing an official review of this locking gel by Jamaican uh, mango and lime. I will be doing an official review of Giovanni leave-in conditioning cream. That was hard to find too. I got it through iHerb. I used to shop on iHerb a lot actually. Um, sh uh, shipping is very cheap right now. I think I got it for like a dollar and something. Yeah, shipping fees? Yeah, for the one product. Not bad at all. So yeah, those are coming up. I have the Miel um, Rosemary and Mint Conditioner, Camille Rose, Sultanicals. Yeah, we got some more stuff coming up. Yeah, it's just that my hair is in twists like every two weeks. <laughs> I'm gonna do a hairstyle for y'all, like I said, for the springtime. So anyway, y'all, let's get into these TV shows. So we're gonna go down the list of shows I've been wa watching on a weekly basis. And then we're gonna talk about DD, Blanchard, this raggedy mama. Oh my God, y'all, from the act. It's a TV show that's on Netflix, excuse me. No, it's on Hulu. <clears throat> so anyway, I wanted to watch the Lifetime movie, Tempted by Danger, with Keisha Knight Palman. I, I have it recorded, so I'm gonna watch it. Let me know if you watch it, if it's good, if it's if it's worth, worth it. Sorry, y'all, my camera battery was going low. Let me know if you've watched it, because I really do, I think I wanna watch it. Hold on, y'all, give me some more watermelon. Mm. I caught Good Girls. Good Girls. I'm buying Good Girls because I don't, I can never catch it when it comes on. So I just purchase it for like $1.99 whenever it's available on YouTube. I know, spending money when I really shouldn't. I am not liking season three. We're in the middle of season three. I am not here for it. Let me tell you something. They need to give us what we want. I need to see Beth and Rio mashed up against the wall somewhere or in the bathtub. Something, okay? I know that's very, you know uh, uh thottish and horse mentality right now but that's what we that's why we like them for season two okay dean is getting on my nurse dean is her husband um he's the guy that was in scream y'all he is so silly looking to me whenever he comes on the screen i'm just expecting him to come up with that scream mask <laughs> like, i don't know can they just kill him off already <laughs> So, yeah, good girls, if they don't give me what I want by the next episode, which I think we're almost done with this season, I'm done. I I, I'm, I don't want to watch it anymore. So, yes, uh, no to good girls. Not having it. Little Fires Everywhere on Hulu. Okay, you guys, this is the one with Reese Witherspoon and Carrie Washington. Now, I told y'all a couple of uh, chit-chats ago that I had no idea it was in the 90s, girl. <laughs> that was, yeah, I don't know where my mind was at. But at first... I thought this series was about classism, but it is more about racism than it is about classism. And I caught that by the third episode. I am really liking the different layers. And I know one thing, Carrie Washington can act her ass off, you guys. She has come a long way. The very first time I saw her in a movie was like late 90s, early, I think it was the early 2000s. And she played this like, um, this schemer she was stealing stuff it was a long time ago like 20 plus years ago seriously but she has come a long way if you haven't watched it please catch it it's called little fires everywhere it's on hulu really good really really good um ciao i tried to y'all i tried to go back to ahs american horror story should be called american horror story and um i tried to look at coven because apparently that is the best season I couldn't do it by the third I think I'm, I was on the third episode when that um Angela uh when Angela Bassett's old lover came out with the with the head the bull head what is he supposed to be a matador what do you call that what do you call those things girl I don't know half bull half black man came came out and um precious <laughs> precious who her character is a living voodoo doll. She's like, I understand you. You excuse me. She's like, I under this is precious to the bull bull man. I understand you. You just want to be touch. When that thing they were having they were messing around, screwing in, in the um the uh storage bin outside the coven house. I said, No, I can't do this. And I know it gets worse than that. I know the scenes, the episodes gets worse. I said, No. I'm not gonna be able to do it. I am not going. I would look if I feel a certain type of way, 
a lot of series and it's if it's too graphic i will stop in the middle i don't care how good it is i don't care how great people say it it is whatever i will stop if i get it mm -mm, i can't do it y'all i can't do it so look the act i don't even know if i'm finished watching the act let me tell you something dd blanchard who is the mother to gypsy rose in my opinion is possibly the most evil mother y'all have to understand i watch a lot of id a lot of 48 hours a lot of crime shows i've seen it all okay this woman just for the fact how long she did this to her own child makes her in my opinion an evil just downright soul sucking person so my child's going crazy so i got to episode what like episode five and I was like, no, I think it was like plan B was the episode. And I was like, you know what? Let me look up some more on, this, on these people. Because I had vaguely heard about this case. I said, let me look up some more about this. So, y'all, there is a movie on Netflix called Mommy, Dead, and Dearest. They basically took the act, basically took almost everything from this documentary. And they did a damn good job in this portrayal in, in the actual series. And did y'all know that Patricia Arquette is playing Dee Dee? Patricia, she, I couldn't tell. She's a chameleon. I did not recognize her. She played in, no, you're not. I'm in the middle. Oh, okay, hold on. Oh, that's so cool. That's awesome. Girl, I don't give a rat. I don't care about no dang on Lego people. She played in, she was the blonde in Nightmare on Elm Street 3. And I think she played on CSI. And of course, she's done more work since Nightmare on Elm Street, girl. That was like in the, in the, in the uh, early 90s, mid 90s. So anyway, she did a really good job. I mean, I don't know if she's wearing a fat suit because she's normally not that big. And Dee Dee Blanchard was a heavier woman, y'all. Okay, so let's get into the movie and we'll go back to the series, okay? So in the movie, of course, it talks about, this is a spoiler. If you don't want to hear it, spoiler. In the movie, it basically just goes over how, um, you can't be walking in front of me working out and looking good. See, y'all, you see, I try to, I try to be a Christian woman. Dee Dee Blanchard and her daughter, Gypsy Rose, escaped Hurricane Katrina. And her daughter had all of these ailments. I mean, everything, she was vision impaired, hearing impaired, leukemia, she had cancer, um, she had a feeding tube. Uh, she had something wrong with her teeth. She had a blood disorder. I mean, she had all of these different issues, right? So, Dee Dee Blanchard ended up being murdered. Her daughter was missing, who was also in a wheelchair. There were two Facebook posts made by Gypsy Rose. They were able to track that to her boyfriend's house. They go in and see she's walking. Not only is she walking, but she doesn't have any of these elements that her mother had, had supposedly told everyone, right? Y'all, the system clearly failed this young girl. It is absolutely horrible. So yes, I agree with you. A couple of you guys said that she manipulated Nick, who was the guy who's serving a life sentence. Absolutely. She manipulated this man. But she, who? look who she learned from, from her, her mother. But let's... Let me let me get back. Her mother was a master scammer and schemer. You guys, apparently she went to jail for um, writing bad checks from her own parents, grandparents, excuse me, and family members in general. Um, so they wrote her off and was like, to hell with you. There was rumors that she supposedly was poisoning her stepmother and possibly killed her own mother. That hasn't been proven, but that that's the rumor. So she started slowly over almost overkill hypochondriac when it came to gypsy when she was just a baby she put this child in a wheelchair and basically had her in a wheelchair for 14 years she subjected her to a feeding tube y'all this is just horrible I, I mean this is just like a slow death for this child um so in the series let's talk about that in the series the mom was just bash crazy absolutely crazy so she was starting to have dizzy spells Dee Dee, Dee the mom and come to find out she got the sugar you know she's diabetic so honestly guys and then looking at pictures of her she was on borrowed time the mother there's just no way she would have been able to survive another five ten years because she wasn't taking her medication or nothing so Jim C. Rose started going online chatting with these other guys because she's like I'm done 
I gotta have a life. So that's another thing too. She was telling people the girl was like 12 years old with the brain capacity of a nine year old when she was 17, 18 years old, right? So this girl started going online, talking to these guys. She finally met Nick who I'm, I feel so bad for this guy y'all. He um, has Asperger's, he's autistic, and I think he has some mental issues alongside with that. I wouldn't be surprised if he had, because he tried to say that he had multiple personality disorder. That, from what I understand, that no longer exists. That um, diagnosis as far as mental health is, uh, is, is, it, is it called disassociative behavior? I, I shouldn't speak on it if I don't know, but basically, it's very rare to even have that, okay? Um, some people can be borderline schizophrenic. I have a cousin who has um, disassociative behavior disorder. And when I tell you it is scary, um, and a lot of the times the people who do suffer from that, when they create multiple personalities, they have suffered physical or sexual trauma. And unfortunately, my cousin, um, uh, was sexually abused by her father, which was my aunt's husband. He abused all those girls sexually, but she was the main one. Um, and she developed all these personalities. You guys, when I tell you, it is scary. My cousin, it is so scary. And the thing is, is that she is so intelligent. She is probably one of the most intelligent people in our family, to be honest. And to see her, uh, the state that she's in now. Yeah, I know I'm going off tangent. I'm just talking about it. I'm, I'm going to try to explain to you what it's like to her. So I went to go visit her. And I think I mentioned this a couple of years ago. I went to go visit my cousin. And um, when she was living in Houston. Excuse me. She was living in um, East Texas. Because she was living in Houston. She was working for a government government agency. When she had a breakdown. And then they moved her to uh, East Texas. Closer to family members. I went in one day with my mom to see her because I hadn't seen her in years. And so we're talking, 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 talking. And then she's like, Vivian, I want you to go into the drawer and get my paper for me. I go into the drawer and get the paper. She has a notebook pad. It is full of scribble and scrabble and just every page is full of what to me looks like nonsense. It probably makes sense to her. And so I would ask, we would talk and she would take a second to respond and she would literally say she would literally say just a second I gotta wait for them I said excuse me she's like yeah I gotta I have different people that I'm talking to and I need to wait for them so the way she said it was that she said this is how she explained it to me because let me say she's intelligent okay she's extremely intelligent that, that's not the problem here so the way my cousin explained it, she said when I take a bite of food I have to wait for everyone else at the table to take a bite of food. Everyone else is everyone in her head. Everyone else has to take a bite. And she also said it's almost like a major red line. Uh, uh, when I kai kick or do a twirl, everyone else do it. Everyone, I have to wait for everyone else. That was scary, but it made so sense. It made a lot of sense to me. But y'all, I could not stop laughing when she said, you know who one of the personalities that she... <laughs> one of her personalities is Morris Day. <laughs> y'all Morris Day from the time you remember Morris Day they used to have the, the dark skinned guy used to have the um he was chocolate too girl used to have the mirror and Morris Day was fixing his pretty self up child when she said Morris Day was one of I said you know what when is he gonna come out oh no I'm sorry when are you gonna come out with some more music then baby that had me rolling so anyway y'all I got way off subject I'm so sorry Didi's was basically going to all of these doctors. Oh, she even said that her child was allergic to sugar, yet she's giving her pediasure, which is full of sugar. And I just don't understand how so many people felt, this, this young girl, Gypsy Rose. I just don't understand. How could you be going to all of these doctors and no one looked at her medical history? thoroughly and I know one thing that she would say I, I guess because she was a she was a master manipulator she was like, oh our our stuff was lost in Hurricane Katrina but let me tell you something that that was really an eye-opener for for me her family meaning the, the mom they were like oh well she died they cremated her no one wanted the ashes y'all what type of person do you have to be to where no one mourns your death think about that the, her own mama was like, we don't want, um, excuse me, her own father was like, we don't want it. They asked the siblings, they're like, we don't want her in here. We, we don't want her. 
And so the one sister was like, just flush it down the toilet. I was like, I mentioned that in the previous one, but when I actually heard the father say that, not only that, but both the father and the stepmother basically said she got it. She, she got what she deserved. Wow. That is... That's cold-blooded. So anyway, you guys, that is it. My child is screaming for me. I need to finish up this watermelon. Y'all, we ain't gonna talk about this. I got on the scale this morning. That raggedy hoe said 175. I was like, I was like, wow. So we're gonna be doing a lot more fresh fruits and vegetables. Um, I will more than likely do a water fast here coming up on Friday. I may record that. I may not. So anyway, you guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.